In this video, we'll show you how to install Huawei S12700E and S12700 series switches, which are installed through essentially the same procedures. The S12708 is used as an example. Before installation, familiarize yourself with the installation requirements by referring to the S12700E and S12700 series switches quick installation guide or the hardware installation and component replacement manual. S12700 and S12700E series switches can be installed in a 19-inch standard cabinet. If you use the third-party cabinet, ensure it has sufficient vertical space for switch installation. The depth of the cabinet must be at least 600 millimeters. Make sure that the cabinet has suitable guide rails and trays. The distance between the front mounting rails and front door must be at least 95 millimeters. When you use a cabinet with a depth of 600 millimeters, ensure it has a single swing door. If needed, you can order the expandable guide rails offered by Huawei for the S12700 and S12700E series switches. These are the tools you need during installation. You should prepare them before you begin. Follow the steps provided on a side panel of the crate to unpack it. First, insert a flathead screwdriver into the hole of each locking bar on the cover of the crate. Rotate it to straighten the locking bars and remove the crate cover. Then straighten the locking bars on the side panels of the crate and remove the side panels. Take out the foaming materials, move the equipment from the crate and check the equipment. Use the packing list to check the delivered components and materials. If you use Huawei expandable guide rails to install an S12708 switch, cut the installation template along the cutting line marked S12708, Huawei expandable guide rails used. If you use a different type of guide rail, cut the installation template along the cutting line marked S12708, Huawei expandable guide rails not used. Attach the installation template to the front mounting rails and mark mounting holes for all floating nuts and guide rails. When marking mounting holes, maintain the distance between the bottom edge of the installation template and the cabinet bottom. This distance must be at least 1U or a multiple of 1U. The guide rail mounting holes must also be marked on the rear mounting rails and be on the same horizontal plane as those marked on the front mounting rails. Then install floating nuts on both the front and rear mounting rails. Identify the left and right guide rails, as well as the front and rear of each guide rail to ensure you install them in the correct direction. Align the front end of a guide rail with the mounting poles marked on the front mounting rail and hang the front end on the mounting rail by positioning the hooks. Adjust the length of the guide rail and hang the rear end of the marked position on the rear mounting rail. Then secure the guide rail with screws. Use the same method to install the other guide rail. The rear ends of the guide rails must also be secured with screws. If you do not have access to expandable guide rails, use a tray instead. A fully loaded switch is heavy. Before installation, remove the cards and power modules from the switch to reduce its weight. Install handles on a switch. Some switch models have removable handles, while some have fixed handles. Move the switch into the cabinet using the handles. Do not drag or lift the switch using its top edge because this may deform the switch. After you place the switch on the guide rails, remove the handles and then push the switch into the cabinet. Ensure that the bottom of the switch is completely attached to the guide rails or tray. Hang the removable handles at the rear end of the switch. Use M6 screws to secure the switch in the cabinet. Install cable management frames on the switch. Align the positioning pin on a cable management frame with a mounting hole on the switch. Insert the positioning pin and drag the cable management frame downward to seat it on the switch. Then use a screwdriver to tighten the captive screws on the cable management frame. Both S12700 and S12700E series switches have a two-hole OT ground terminal positioned on the lower left of the rear ends. 
A ground cable can be connected there. Connect the other end of the ground cable to the equipotential ground terminal on the cabinet. Install cards in the switch. Before installing cards, wear an ESD wrist strap and insert the other end of the strap to the ESD jack on the switch or cabinet. This figure shows the slot distribution in the switch. MPUs, LPUs, and SFUs are installed in different slots but through similar methods. Rotate the ejector levers of a card outward and push the card into the slot. When the card is completely seated in the slot, close the, the ejector levers. When installing a card, push the card slowly and gently along the guide rails in the slot to protect components on the card from collisions. Make sure all the cards are installed correctly. Install filler panels in all the empty slots to ensure efficient heat dissipation and electromagnetic shielding in compliance with the electromagnetic compatibility standard. Do not install SFUs of different types in the same switch. Before installing a power module, make sure that its power switch is off. Raise the ejector lever of the power module, push the power module into the slot, and then lower the ejector lever to lock the power module in place. For an AC power module, insert the plug of an AC power cable into the socket on the power module and lock the power cable using the locking strap. DC power modules are installed through the same method. Insert the plug of a DC power cable into the socket on a DC power module. Connect Ethernet cables or optical fibers by referring to the S12700E and S12700 series switches quick installation guide or the hardware installation and component replacement manual. Power on and check the switch. First, check the indicators on the power modules. If the input and output indicators are steady green, they are working properly. Then check the indicators on other modules to ensure that they are all working properly. The switch installation is now complete.